measure each section on the car. Um, so one of the considerations that we did with this particular part is we really achieved a close relationship between where the knuckle mounts and and where the coilover mounts and the reason why we, um, we brought those things so close together and actually had uh, to do some unique work in clearancing the, the relationship between those two things is because the relationship between um, where the coilover mounted and the car is um, we didn't really have the ability to shorten that anymore so we actually ended ends up shortening the two points Get out and die. It's a revolution 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 The 2014 GS with a different concept in mind and that concept was that uh, being a brand new car we didn't want to put it in the body shop and pull out the fender wider to to fit the wheels uh, the wheels that we have on there are 20 by 11 PBS and it's a GTR fitment and all the Lexus guys know that Lexus takes probably the weakest offset out of any car um, so fitting this 20 by 11 plus 15 was quite a challenge. Um, when we first put the wheels on the car, they are sticking out about three inches. Um, and so what we had to do is make a full set of custom arms and rods for the back of the car. And we put some IS axles in there, which are shorter, which allowed us to pull that wheel in a few inches and tuck it up underneath a totally unmodified fender. We just did a little bit of cutting in there and we got lots of great clearance. I'm really pleased with the fitment on there. So the coolest thing about this is that you can get five arms and rods from us in the back of the car and max VIP coilovers, some short axles from an IS and be done with it. No wait time in the body shop, just bolt on stuff, a little bit of cutting underneath the lip and that's it. You're fitting some awesome wheels.